Electric bills are complex. More often than not, we just look at what we owe and move on. But once we saw, saw those high July rates, people started to take a second look. And that had people pointing at Eversource and Eversource at Millstone and Millstone back at Eversource. But what really was the cause for those high delivery fees? It may actually have been COVID-19. It's outrageous. It's crazy. Shock and awe was a common theme this month from Eversource consumers when they opened their July bill. Oh my gosh, how am I going to pay this? This surprise had us all taking a look at the fees on our bill, particularly those under the delivery charge. Take a look at this bill sent to us by a viewer. The breakdown of the back of the bill looks complex, mostly numbers and kilowatt hours for deliveries we aren't familiar with. Let's take a closer look. In total, delivery fees went up 3.5%. A majority of that came from the non-bypassable, federally mandated congestion charge due in part to the Millstone power plant negotiated rate. Millstone accounted for about 90% of the 6.4% increase to the NBFMCC, while the rest of the 22 services and programs that make up the fee actually decreased. You won't find a line item that shows this, but that's not by Eversource's choice. We asked as a company, that there be a separate line item on the bill so people could understand it. Um, the regulators decided against that. The charges are based on how much you use. The common misconception about these fees is that Eversource profits from all of them. That isn't true. The vast majority of those charges don't go to Eversource themselves or aren't retained by Eversource. They get paid out to other entities. In fact, of the charges that go directly to Eversource, they decreased 4%. After calculating all the new fees and deductions, the average consumer should have only had a $5.58 increase. So how did bills double? The big change for customers' bills was the amount of increased consumption, and caused mainly by people working from home. Don't believe them? Take a closer look. This viewer used more in July than they had in the last 12 months, and it's nearly double what they used in June. What about United Illuminating? Viewers said they saw increases with their bills, too. Turns out their delivery fees dropped 1% in July. That is overwhelmingly a result of uh, a combination of the hot weather and changes to um, the way that people are living and working in the COVID area era. Those fees and regulations that affected the Eversource July bill have not affected UI yet. UI is still in negotiations with Pura to decide when those regulations will take place. Now, as for the state lawmakers investigation into the Eversource bills, they've asked Pura to put a hold on those July increases. As of now, Pura has not said when those regulations will be taken back and if it will affect your next bill. In Brantford, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.